Hi everyone, here's a quick video on how to play the Bezier game on a Chromebook without a mouse, which I really don't recommend. You need to find some type of mouse where you can click and drag, click and drag, and hold the Alt key at the same time. It makes it a lot easier, but it can be done. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start over here at this beginning point right here. And um, it's going to take three fingers to be able to do this. One, I need to be able to make a click. I need to be able to make a selection with my left finger. I'm going to use my right finger to kind of move the cursor around. And I'm going to use my left pinky here on the Alt key to be able to break the handlebars. That's what I like to call them. All right, so let's go and get started. So on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and you got to click. And what I'm going to do is actually think of the ending on this one for the Bezier game. The hood of the car kind of finishes. I'm looking at the top handle, not the bottom handle on this one. But that top handle is where the hood is going to kind of come in. It'll make sense when I finish this. All right, so there's how I finish. But I'm going to go ahead and hold the Alt key with my left pinky over here. And break this. Oops, I let go. Let's go Control z Let's go ahead and start over. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag. Got to hold the Alt key with my pinky. And that allows me to break the handlebar and make a new curve. And it's going to be a small curve for this bumper. So once you have that set, you're going to go ahead and let go with your left finger, and it drops that anchor. All right, let go of the Alt. I'm going to come down to the bottom finger, and you can see that is the path that we are creating. But I'm going to go right here in the middle of the gray area. I'm going to click with my left finger, hold down, do not let go, drag down with your right, and you can see that's the path that you're now creating, but I need to kind of make a nice soft bumper right there. And again, I'm going to hold the Alt key, come over with my left pinky, hold the Alt key, and bre break the handlebar, bring it back over this way. And then go ahead and let go with my left uh, index finger, pointer finger. All right, and see, this is the new path. That is, this is just the handle right here. This is the path I'm concerned about. Kind of ignore that um, handle right there. But I'm going to kind of create the bottom of this vehicle by click, drag, I'm going to drag to the left a little bit because I don't want the car to droop down or droop up. i got to go the straight line right here, so get that nice and straight. But then again, Alt to hold the Alt, and that allows me to break that handlebar. And to these tires, it's right about uh, um, a handle about this strength right here. And I'll go ahead and let go of my, let go of my clicker, the, the, the button. And I'm going to come back behind the tire. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag up till we get that tire just right. Get a nice smooth curve in there. But then again, we have to, you got to figure out a way to hold that Alt key. So I'm going to click Alt with my pinky again, bring it back down. And let's get that nice and straight across. Let go and let go. Move it over here. And I'm going to come behind or in front of the rear tire. Click and drag forward. A nice straight line but Alt so I can break it, break the handle, and I'm going to come right about there is probably a good spot. Let go with my left finger. Do not let go of Alt first, okay? That'll, un that'll keep it as a mirrored handle. And behind the tire, click, drag up, get myself a nice curved tire, Alt, break the handlebar, come back behind the beetle. Now this rear bumper is kind of like a straight line, so watch, so let me go. let go with my uh, pointer finger again first. And let go of Alt. Now, since these are straight lines, I'm just going to single click. 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 Now, I could just click one time here and do a straight line. But actually, I am preferring to do this where I break the handlebar also. So I'm going to click. Drag just a little bit to the right. I don't want to make this bumper go up like that or anything like this or have it stretch out over this way. It needs to be just a real small line. Get a real small handle right there. But then Alt and break this handlebar to kind of... Um, start the back of the curve of the rear of this vehicle. So kind of up in this direction, let go with my left finger, then Alt. I can come all the way to the uh, top of the windshield, click and drag, and I'll be able to create the roof line. Um, don't go too high, and you're going to have to, and don't go too short. You got to stretch it back there, and there I have the roof of the car. But for the future path, that is way too long. So again, you got to hold Alt, break the handlebar. And I'm going to, right about there, let go with my pointer finger. And come back down here. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to uh, select, drag for that windshield. Not a bubble windshield. Just nice to keep this um, parallel to the previous path right there. And let's alt, alt, so I can break it. And let's try to see if we get this just right. So this next curve is going to kind of bend out this way. That's the direction of my future of this next curve, which is the hood of the car. And I'm going to let go with my left finger. And it almost should be pretty good, but we'll be able to adjust it here. So always want to 
complete a closed path so let's click back on the beginning click and drag and I'm able now I'm able to actually um, adjust this a little bit so right about there and all right got it done hope that helps good luck if you don't have a mouse this makes this game much much harder but it can be done